guys, we are your hosts, Brandon Henson and Abigail Ferguson. And today, we have a special guest. <laughs> Y'all should know Yay! So today mm. is going to be a Q&A. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be um, the Q&A. So, okay, what is your guys' favorite class right now? Favorite class? I would say, if we're just talking about having fun, like physical, I would say dance. Mm -hmm. Academics, I don't know, but I like math. But when you don't understand it, it hurts. It hurts so bad. But when you understand it, it's so much fun. You be thinking about, oh my grade. I right, like, like the grade, baby. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite class has to be Mr. Brooks's class. My world therapy, history. Yeah, my therapy class, mm -hmm. my world history class. I like that class because... um. It has a very comfy environment. Mm -hmm. Like, even though sometimes in that class, you know, not everybody's gonna like each other. Right. But, it's gonna but, be a bunch of stuff. But, but other t other times in that, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. What about you? Um, I have two. Mm -hmm. um, first period reading mm -hmm. and second period word oh. history. Oh, sorry. Reason. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm gonna um, reason being, like, they're both super chill, like, we learn. Mm -hmm. But it's really chill. Do we get along all the time in some period? No. I feel like first period is kind of like a, a class, like everybody kind of gets along because we're yeah. like, it's just a little amount of kids. By the way, we are in that mm. class, so yeah. that's why we know what yeah. yeah. to you. Yeah, it's just a little amount of kids. We have fun, we learn. And yeah, it's like a chill area where you can just like learn and have fun. True. Yeah. And you know, it's always, and you know, in the morning, like with our first period, it's always good to just walk in and like, right. you know, we're not really doing too much. Like he lets us have that time. Yeah. To like talk, get into it and like, you know. And you like, like, get into the mindset. And then I love how he'd be like, okay. Okay, now, guys, like, now we're going to do what you yeah, got to do. I love when he does that. It's time. But yeah, those are our classes. Okay. So next question. What are your goals for the end of the school year? Hmm. Goals for the I would say. To graduate? <laughs> no, 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 for no, real. Like, for real. Graduating no, right for now, real. especially with classes. For some reason, classes are getting harder in the third quarter. Yeah, personally, yeah. I don't know why it's getting. Usually, it would be harder. In the right. First it was crunch time, so it is crunch time. You're learning while you know, kind of trying to brush back up on old things, so it's kind of hard. But on a harder subject, I usually thought that the first and second period. Not first and second period. First and second quarter, quarter was much harder than yeah. the third and fourth quarter. Like, because, you know, we're getting into, like, crunch time. And, like, it's also FSA testing during the fourth quarter. So, like, mm. we're not really doing that much. So, it's, like, right. easier. But, like, this year, since we're, like, back in school. Right. And it's eighth grade. Yeah. It's much harder. It just first grade to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my goal, like she said, to graduate Mm -hmm. I have another goal, which is to uh, like graduate with A's in the first mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. or like really high B's. Right. I get really mad whenever I see a C, yes. and like I get this a lot. So like I I'm, I'm very mad at myself, mm -hmm. and yeah, I feel like it's just to graduate. The other quarter has gotten harder. Yeah. Um, I always thought that um, the beginning of first quarter. FSA time and the end of fourth quarter will be the hardest because that's when either you're learning a new subject, you're being tested on a subject, right. and your teacher is trying to, some teachers try to teach you like things from other, from like the year you're going to. Mm -hmm. So it's even more harder because you're like, wait, I just learned all this stuff. For you to uh, tell me uh, otherwise, other literally. Things. But yeah, I understand that. But yeah, really to graduate and like you said, to like, Make sure you come out on top and still you graduate. You don't. I don't know. To me, you don't want to graduate where it's like, oh, thank God, I just got there. Like I was right. Like, 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 like you don't want to. Like, like, like you want to actually yeah. put effort. Okay, at yeah. least at least I tried this year mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay, so many people have different views on this, but mm -hmm. how would you guys rate the school year? Personally, I would say a six point three, just because I thought this year was gonna entail more. Like I thought we were gonna do more activities, yeah, but like the COVID. But, but remember, like COVID still like um, out there or whatever. So, mm -hmm. and I also feel like every day I'm just repeating myself. Like I'm getting up, I'm going to school, doing other yeah. after school activities, come home, do homework, go back to school the next day. Like it, it's not really a lot. And I remember back in sixth grade, like we had used to have all these fun activities, but mm -hmm. you know, COVID did like take like a impact on what we can on what, on what we cannot and can do true and sometimes and also what i feel like also 
on some of the stuff, but we can't do this year also behavior wise. But right, we talked about that. Though. We did talk about it, so yeah. you don't go check it out. Pretty good, but still, yeah. So this year it was for me. I would rate it a seven. I mean, it was not that bad, but COVID did like stop, and I feel like. Because we were online, many people felt like, of course, they didn't, they couldn't do what they wanted to do in school, like what they would do in school. So once they got to school, everybody just went ham on it. Everybody was like, oh, finally, we're in school, we can do what we want to do. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so behavior reasons and the COVID. The COVID. The COVID. Me, the COVID. It's, it's, a part, it's a solid six. Again, behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, coming back to school after being online Ugh. is. I know they were like going to school and then online to make the change. No, getting from online to school mm-hmm. is so different. You see all the people you haven't seen in for a real. hot minute. To be honest, like I remember FSA times, like when mm-hmm. we had to come back from FSA. Oh, yeah. I was so excited. I was but, like, I want to get over it. I was excited and scared. And yes, scared because some of the stuff, it wasn't easy to right. learn online. Like, it was so hard to learn online. Right. And, like, you had, like, a short attention span. Like, mm-hmm. you would get distracted because, you know, you have your phone and everything available. Yeah. Like, the stuff that you don't have at school is right there. And also, like, you know, you could be switching between tabs or, like, you're right. not really paying attention to the lesson. I agree. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, COVID really said, you having a party? Am I invited? Right. 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 You were there. Oh, what y'all trying to do? A future? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> let let me come along. Let me check. Oh, do you have a wristband? <laughs> Type wristband? stuff. Do you have a wristband? No? Mm-hmm. You can't get in. <laughs> you can't no after school activities. You can't get in. No. You can't no. get in. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, those were like, I know those were not a lot of questions, but. We probably should do a part two. We should do Oh, we should do part two. Y'all want to do part two? Part two? Mm-hmm. Y'all want to see a part two? Y'all want to see a part two? It probably won't be at, right after this, right. but we'll do this. Bit type of video at the end of the year, close to our yeah. Should we tell them close to our what? Our um video like the oh yeah close, close to, to prom. our prom yeah we're gonna close do our prom more right. stuff like that yeah so but yeah if you have any comments that you want to add in on our questions then you can in any social media really just of course refer to what person you're talking about and Adria put that. and also um if you guys have any suggestions if you like see me and Abigail mm-hmm. um even around school even if you or see Jocelyn, guests, yeah. Jocelyn or um Tyler or whatever mm-hmm. one of the twins that you guys know them by um you know just come and tell us we yeah. really like your input and any whatever. questions you have that you want mm-hmm. us our feedback on tell us but mm-hmm. yeah that's really it thank you yeah. jocelyn mm-hmm. thank, thank you for having you. me um and yeah we'll see you in the next video where bye, bye.